two people who understand this terrifying end to a relaxing vacation better than anybody else are Brian and Ashley Hagerich. The couple and their two children were set to return to the United States after a vacation to those islands back in February when hunting ammunition was also found in Brian's luggage. He was detained by Turks and Caicos authorities, spending eight days in prison before posting bail. And to this day, he's still stuck there. In the more than 70 days since his arrest, Brian has missed several life events and milestones, including his children's birthdays. Brian and Ashley Hagerich are joining me live now. Ashley from their home in Pennsylvania, Brian from Turks and Caicos, where he still remains this morning. Thank you both so much for sharing your story. Brian, let me start with you. I mean, who in the world knew a few stray bullets could get you detained and separated from family? You've now been away from yours for 70 days. How are you holding up? I don't think any of us ever had any idea that the magnitude uh, this would bring to our family. Um, it, it has been nothing short of a struggle these past 70 plus days. And where are you staying now? You're not behind bars, right? So, so what's your living condition in Turks and Caicos? Yes, I've been able to stay in an Airbnb um, throughout most of my stay here. I've had to bounce around a little bit just due to availability, um, but overall just been able to piece it together and, and make the best of the situation. Yeah, I can't imagine how trying it's been. Ashley, what about you and the kids? How are you? It's been difficult. I mean, essentially, you know, being a stay at home single mom now with two kids, um, I've taken a little bit of a step back from work just so I can balance their schedules. They go to different schools. So um, it's been really trying and, you know, we all just miss our daddy and we need to get Brian home. Mm -hmm. Brian, Turks and Caicos, as I understand it, has been one of your family's favorite destinations. You've gone a lot of times. You've taken your kids several times. Take us back to when you realized that you were being detained. Yes. Um, so I was called for a random bag search of my, my check bag and uh, came back and consented to the search. And after what seemed like a fairly lengthy period of time, uh, hunting ammunition was found within my bag. Um, I did realize that was, you know, the similar ammunition that I have at home, a bag that I use very, very frequently for weekend trips um, to our hunting property. Uh, it was just a very, very simple, honest mistake. Mm -hmm. And same that's happening with the Watsons right now as well. Ashley, when you think of Turks and Caicos, you know, we only think of paradise, right? I mean, sandy beaches, the snorkeling, never in your wildest dreams this. Were you aware of how strict the country had become ahead of traveling there? Oh, absolutely not. To your point, you know, we've traveled there on numerous occasions and it's became a happy place for us. We have always respected the culture, the island, and have just, you know, loved being there. And um, never in a million years would we ever have imagined. I mean, we travel, you know, pretty frequently and never have we thought to travel, to, to search um, the internet for restrictions and travel bans and things of that nature, especially to somewhere that we've been so many times. So um, never in a million years could we imagine that an honest mistake like this could lead to right. the absolute torture our family's going through. Well, Brian and Ashley Hagerich, I'm so sorry. I, I have to end it there. We have breaking news, but um, we're going to check back in. I'd love to have both of you back on the show as we continue to follow your case and also the Watsons now as well. Brian, wishing you well. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.